Section 25 of Up One Pair of Stairs of My Book House. This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information or to volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Pamela Krantz. Up One Pair of Stairs of My Book House. Edited by Olive Beaupre Miller. Barry, a Dog of the Alps. Barry was a good dog. Perhaps he was the best-known dog in all the world, and he lived way up in the Alps, the high mountains of Europe. In those days travelers used to cross the Alps on foot. They tramped over a trail called the Pass of St. Bernard, and this pass was covered with snow for the greater part of the year. It was not easy for a man to make his way through the huge drifts, sometimes blinded by the storms sometimes finding himself straight in the path of a mighty pile of snow that was sliding down the mountainside. So it happened that long, long ago a band of good monks built a place of refuge nearly at the top of the pass. From here they used to go out and search for travelers who were lost in the snow. To help them in this good work, the monks kept a number of fine, strong dogs— Barry was one of these, and he had been trained to go out by himself to hunt for travelers. He looked in the most dangerous places, but no place was ever too dangerous to keep Barry from going to help those who needed him. Whenever he came upon a man half buried in the snow, he would dig him free, barking words of comfort, meantime, that came from his big warm heart. Then he would leave with the man some of the food that he carried in a packet about his neck and run back to his masters, barking for help. "'Come, Barry has found someone,' the monks would cry, and they would follow him instantly. Thus they would reach the traveller and bring him back to be warmed and cared for by their glowing fires. Once Barry found a small boy lost in the snow. This time he did not run barking home for help. He knew he could not leave so little a fellow alone. He must carry him back to the monks himself. So he came up close to the child and told him in his good dog language, just as lovingly as a mother could have done, not to cry, not to be afraid, but to climb up on his big, strong back. The little one understood and did as Barry bade him. So the good dog bore him safely through the great drifts to the warm fire and supper the monks had ready. Barry lived with the monks for twelve years, and during that time many were the travelers he saved. Both before and since his day there have been other St. Bernard dogs who were good, brave, and wise, but none of them has so truly earned the love and gratitude of men as the noble Mastiff, Barry. End of section 25. Recording by Pamela Krantz.